All right. Many people have had trouble finding the file and folder options in Windows Vista since they changed how you access them from older versions of Windows. That said, I'm going to show you some of the different ways to set these options in Vista, and I'll do it using hidden files and folders as an example. All right, I'm going to start by going to Start and then to Control Panel. And I've got this set to be at Control Panel Home. Now I'll go up here to Appearance and Personalization. And then here under Folder Options, I'll click on the Show Hidden Files and Folders. Now once I'm here, I'll make sure that I set Show Hidden Files and Folders. And I'll come down, and I'll uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types and Hide Protected Operating System Files. And then I'll click on Yes, then Apply. And that's basically it. Um, if you look up and down the list, this is the old dialog that you're familiar from the folder dialogs in previous versions of Windows. So I'll click OK, and then I'll close out of here. Now, as you can see, I have my desktop.ini here and here. Basically, what we just did is we set those permissions for all of Windows. If you want to do it on individual folders, you have to access it somewhat differently. So what I'll do is I'll click on Start, and I'll go to Computer, and I will choose a folder at random here. I'll make it my Program Files folder. And I'll double click to get into there. And then I'll click over here on Organize. And I'll come down to Folder and Search Options. And as you can see, we're back to that dialog that we were familiar with in older versions. And we can set our settings for the folder here. So that's really basically it. Um, it's really unchanged except the location of how you get there. So enjoy and take care.